and I've written it all down. End times anxiety. I've been getting emails from people telling me they want to commit suicide, their fear, they're afraid, and I, I don't blame you, but listen to me carefully. God did not give us an end time prophecy to terrorize us. No. He said he gave it to bless us, Revelation 1-3. And show us what's to come, Revelation 1.1, 1, 1, which he will save his believers from, from the verse 1 John 4.18, perfect love as a believer. Some ask, doesn't that mean there will be no excuse for fear because you should be all about love as a believer? No. God says, no, it's quoted to sound that way. That verse is not about fear in general. In context, the verse actually is talking about fear of judgment from God. 1 John 4, 17. If we have love, we will not fear his judgment day. Punishment because love is the fulfillment of the law of God, which we must adopt from eternal life, Matthew 19, 17, 9. Wormwood of the third trumpet was literal star, which brings all the disasters from Revelation 6, 12 through Revelation 8, 13. We have literal death star coming our way. In Greek, it is called the aster. Destin, desti, destruction tornado levels winds over the entire earth revelation 7 1 through 3 god's escape plan for his people is in exodus eleven seventeen. god does not change as he as as in the old days back in Egypt, and he saved the children of Israel, he will do the same thing in our day. When it comes time to march out where God chooses to protect us from wormwood and the great tribulation, we will have miracles we need just as they did in Israel. You can see this escape plan in Revelation 12, in Joel 2 30 through 32 and revelation 6 12 through 17 my family it's normal to feel anxious but hold on to jesus christ just let go and love god he has his believers this is all in his plan and it's all in the word that's why i tell you to read the bible and then you'll know what's coming you'll know what to do if you have the if you have the way and you have the means to leave um, where you are, then I advise you to leave. My email is available and I'll give you my phone number. But if you have the way to leave, leave. If not, don't worry. God wants you there for a reason. Unfortunately, there are believers that have deceased, but God's will be done. There's a reason for everything he does, but he does give us an escape plan. Please, don't panic. Don't fear. That's from the evil one. That's what he wants. Don't go to stores. Don't freak out. Don't, there's looters out there. There's, there's demons lurking out there. Stay put. Stay put or get in your car, fill it up with gas, and go to family outside of California, outside of flood zones, away from water, like where I am. Use my email. I'll give you my phone number. I'm here to help all. If I have five, ten cents, I'll give you five. If I have a morsel of food, I'll split it with you. I love thy neighbor. I love all of you. Please take heed of what the Lord just told me. Do not panic. Do not get filled with anxiety. Live by prayer and know that God has an escape plan for you, my brothers and sisters, for all of us. I love you all. God bless America. God bless the world. Keep everybody in your prayers. Stand strong. You believers are warriors. You're an army. He has you. Just like he had the children of Israel. He has you. It's written in the word. Open the Bible. It's all there. 
this little Italian girl who will be back, God willing. I love you all with my heart and soul. God bless you all. And please feel free to email me and call me. I love you and stay calm. God has us.